guys this is slow mo back at you again with another video and this time doing something a little different so this is going to be the first video in a series i'm calling coming soon yeah i know very generic name but uh coming soon is going to be essentially uh, a video i would do every season about the promising games that i like that are coming out in that season and i know i'm, I'm running a little late here because it's already july and uh, we are um, halfway through summer, but um, I believe we got some fire games coming out this summer. I got six games for you guys to check out, and I think uh, you're really, really going to like them if you check them out, and I am highly anticipating them. So let's get started. First game on the list, and we are going in order of release date. So this is actually coming out in a few weeks. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order. Now, uh, this game is going to have 34 playable Marvel characters consisting of the X Men, Avengers, Humans, Guardians of the Galaxy, and other popular solo heroes. Um, it looks like they're saying that more heroes will be available post launch through DLC. Um, and the, the Ultimate Alliance series is returning after a 10 year break. Uh, the, the first game came out as a multiplayer in 20, 2006. Second game came out in 2009, also multiplayer. But this one is going to be only available on the Nintendo Switch. Um, many feel this game wasn't highly regarded as young because of its old school isometric look. Uh, and it may have taken some time for a developer to be able to revive the series why not have it look it looked very dated but uh i've seen some gameplay and uh i mean I, let me just be honest i was so regard before the gameplay and just be real because I'm, I'm a fan of the series but yeah yeah um check it out it's coming out soon if you have a nintendo switch and uh, it will be the only place to play it uh release date is july 19th so next up is fire emblem three houses and this is a game, it is the 16th in the Fire Emblem series, the first on a console since 2007. Uh, Fire Emblem is a tactical role-playing game. Uh, not too many people are into that, I am. If you are into tactical role-playing games, give this one a shot. I love uh, being able to choose from multiple houses um, that are very different. That seems to be a feature of this series where you have three different houses that uh, have a different philosophy, different religions, different uh, cultures, and you can choose that house and, and that will be your house for the game. Uh, and as I said, again, it's a tactical role playing game. So the, but you have uh, in, in the, how can I say this, in the battles, uh, you could have battalions of troops follow individual units and support and uh, support them in battle, which I think is pretty pretty cool. Uh, this is also a game that is only coming out on the Nintendo Switch, and its release date is July 26. Next up is Wolfenstein Youngblood, and I have been waiting for this game ever since I first saw it. Uh, this is the third of a series that has been developed by Machine Games, uh, also published by Bethesda. Uh, this is a first-person shooter, if you uh, aren't familiar with Wolfenstein. And Wolfenstein Youngblood is, uh, takes place in, after the events of Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. Uh, the main protagonist of the series, BJ, is missing, and his two twin daughters are looking for him and I, I just love the fact that this is going to be the first and uh, with, within this series of uh, co-op gameplay between the two twin daughters uh it's um something new for the series but i think something that i think machine games are, are capable of delivering and making sure that it's a uh, it's it's a fun um, new addition to the gameplay uh, I have always enjoyed Wolfenstein's cast of characters. They're just, all the supporting characters are very well fleshed out, very interesting, and keep the story going. And um, this, that's something that I 
in particular think will continue for this game and I, I just can't wait to get into it it's uh, releasing um, on all platforms and when I say all platforms I'm talking about Xbox PlayStation PC uh, Nintendo Switch and Google Stadia so uh, you can be able to check it out pretty much on your preferred platform and it releases July 26th so the fourth game on my list is Control being developed by Remedy Entertainment and funny thing about Remedy uh, recently this week Remedy has recently got their uh, Alan Wake IP uh, reverted back to them from Microsoft so maybe in the future we'll see a Alan Wake remake or Alan Wake sequel finally which I will be really really happy uh, to finally get a chance to play uh, Remedy uh, is making Control. Control is a third person perspective action adventure game, which is pretty typical for Remedy. It's all their games are like that. Uh, and this one looks very similar to Quantum Break, which was an exclusive on the Xbox uh, and PC. And Quantum Break was a game I enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed the different powers that you had. Uh, and in the way the game, the combat worked, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the, the story. I know that's a little polarizing for some people. Some people didn't like the story. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good game. Uh, and uh, that the reason why I enjoyed that game so much and Control looking so similar is the reason why I'm really, really interested in this one. Uh, this game will be on Xbox and PC and also PlayStation 4 and it will have exclusive content for the PlayStation 4 so make sure that if you are looking at this one that you're kind of checking out what will be on each console and or or platform and what won't be uh, and uh, the release date for control is August 27th next up on the list and we have uh, we're down to our last two but these two two are probably my most anticipated for the summer first on these last two is dark pictures man of madonna and if any of you guys know me you know i am a massive super massive games fan i am huge fan of their work uh until dawn is a game that they made uh, came out back in 2015 and it is still my favorite game on the PlayStation 4. Supermassive has mostly been a second party developer of PlayStation, but this game is being published by Bandai Namco and so it will also launch on the Xbox and PC. Uh, Supermassive's uh, previous hit of Until Dawn is what we, you would call a it's a narrative driven branching storyline game so it's very much like how telltale's games used to be or how quantic dreams games are but i really really like supermassive's games because their stories are better uh they get real actors to play uh to be mo-capped and to do the roles for their, their characters and uh they all feature permadeath which is great so you have to really, really pay attention to what you're doing, not make mistakes, and uh, try to get all of these characters to survive, whether you like them, some of them you may like them, some of them you'll probably hate them. Uh, and, uh, but yeah, no, they're, they're great. And uh, um, this game has been something that ever since it has been, it was announced last year, that I really, really been looking forward to. And uh, Man of Madon, it will be releasing August 30th. And last up, but certainly not least, is Astral Chain. Astral Chain is being developed by Platinum Games. Platinum Games has previously made Mad World on the Wii, all the Bayonetta games, and uh, Nier Automata that uh, has also been a huge hit. Um, initially came out on PlayStation 4, and then also released on PC and the, the Xbox. And uh, Platinum Games, they really, they really uh, come in with a good flair for action adventure games, and uh, most of them are single player. 
uh, and from what I'm seeing, I've seen, I, I don't know, I can't really confirm this, I've seen some places say this game is going to have multiplayer, I'm not quite sure that is going to happen, but I really love the visual, the visual uh, artistic direction this game is having, it looks a lot like uh, something you may see in anime, um, I, I like their stories, although I know that from what I heard, what near that they didn't really do the story part. They just mostly just did the gameplay part. Regardless, uh, this is a game I'm looking forward to. It is exclusive to the Nintendo Switch and will be releasing August 30th. So yeah, I know this one, uh, this first one is a little heavy on the, uh, the Switch. Uh, looks like the Switch actually has one, two, three, three exclusive games on this list. Uh, so, hey, if you have Nintendo Switch, you have a lot to look forward to this summer. And even if you don't, and um, there's still three games that are going to be with Wolfenstein, Control, and Man of Medan that I think is going to be fire. So, this is going to be, I think, a very unusual summer where we, we don't really have to just rely on the backlog. You got some, some good games coming up. So, um, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you didn't like the video, hey, hit the dislike button. Let me know in the comments below why. Uh, also, if uh, you think there are any games that I missed that they also show promise, hey, go in the comment section below. Tell me, hey, Slow Mo, you should check out this game. You should check out whatever. So, hey, I am all for it. You guys have a great day and take care.